no reason in this world to be around people you don't fuck with at this time in the world. Somebody who don't fuck with you, you ain't got no business around them at this time in the world, man. You better, you gotta realize, man, this, this is a wicked world. When you pray for rain, you gotta deal with the mud too. What's good, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail, you see the link, you saw the clip. Shout out to Corey Holcomb, 5150 Nation. The man got a point on several levels, and I'm going to tell you what I mean. When he says this time, Things are getting harder because of inflation. You see people leaving certain cities and states and droves and going to other places just for a cheaper lifestyle, a cheaper way of living, or hope for a better opportunity, right? Because, you know, um, America being broke, money is putting a squeeze on the vast majority of us, right? And you also, at the same time, see a lot of people who are sociopaths or psychopaths they they would they would use and abuse anybody to get a leg up in life scammers whatever you get what i'm saying whether that be family whether that be friends whether that be people you're dating you see people without uh i can't say that they're without conscience because I don't believe in that. I don't believe that people don't have a conscience because I will say this. When the hunters become the hunted, all of a sudden they got a conscience. So you had one the whole time. You just, you know, you didn't expect it to happen to you. Your ego was, your arrogance was through the roof. But as the man was saying, right now, it, it, it's, it's, it's that time. It's that time where people go, you know what? There is no way that I'm going to be dealing with you. No way. I'm not dealing with you in no way, shape, form, or fashion. And the reason I'm saying what I'm saying is because if you get yourself stuck up in a situation with somebody who doesn't mess with you, they're just going to stab you in the back and sabotage you. That's all they're going to do. And, and, and why I brought up like the inflation, because... The prices of rent went through the roof. You see car payments through the roof. You, you see people can't necessarily afford to be on their own. Like just in a one bedroom apartment or a townhome or a condo, let alone trying to be in a, be in a house by themselves just because of the, the sheer cost of everything, right? And even though a house is probably the cheapest bet, the only problem is nowadays, you know, they they want that um that down payment. I don't think it's no getting around it now because you know the interest rates are so high that they want the down a lot of times from my understanding they want these down payments up front per se. So these down payments are huge because the prices of houses keep going up and up and up. So people can't afford it, so they gotta get an apartment. An apartment is killing them, you know? And rent is more than a mortgage. It's always been that way. But now it's just exceedingly Worse, because they, they keep raising the rent on folks. Um, and I say that to say this. Nowadays, people who don't rock with you will ask you for help and they will live with you and leech off of you and act like they're, they're a team with you to help them get on their feet or, to, or you know what I'm saying, we, we cool, we family, we friends, we, we love each other, this, that, and the third. And you find out the minute that they feel like they're one or two steps ahead, they're going to stab you in the back. You know, how many of us have been around people and helped people, you know, who it cost us to help them to get on, on their feet. And it didn't, but when they got on their feet, they act like you didn't exist. You know, you might be in a negative, in the red financially because of helping them. And they so far in the green and the black that they don't care. I'm up. 
I'm up. And it's like, yo, you know, now that you up, nothing? Like, okay, okay. All right. You know, and I and I make that that statement because somehow people get, have sense after they screw a person over. Like, you know what I'm saying? I I wouldn't want nobody, I, nobody gonna ever do that to me. Oh, but when you was doing it, it was okay. I understand now. And there are a lot of good people, hardworking people, um, people who are, quote unquote, the backbones of their family out here suffering. They're out here suffering because they're trying to take care of a bunch of people nowadays who really don't care about them. They care about the help that they give, but they don't care about the person that's helping. So this is bad. And I've seen people who've worked themselves to the, in the hospital. People have worked themselves to death now. Um, people have stressed people out to the point that they've gotten sick. You know, people have have leveraged their own children's, you know, suffering because they're BSing as a as a person or as a parent, just to get it, just to get somebody to help and help and help and help and help. And it's like, yo. But if that same person that, that you keep asking for help or that keeps rendering help to you, if they need help, hey, man, you Houdini, you disappear. You know how to disappear on a, on a day one. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you my day one? Here's a trick. Abracadabra, I'm going. Yon, yon. It's like, oh, oh, this is what we doing. See, this is a time period where you got to be with somebody or around people that rock with you, that are down for you, that care about you. That if you fall, they'll help you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they reciprocate. If if they love you, if 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 they love you, you love them back. You get what I'm saying? If if you if they help you, you help them. But all this other this use and stuff, hey man, no man, because because people who I've helped, I've personally helped people before, who looked at me right in my face like I don't f with you, and I'm like. Okay, all right, we done. And then getting mad, you know, getting mad, like, I don't want to talk to him. Okay, who cares? Because that, that's the other thing. For a lot of you folks who are out here, you know, um, doing right by people and getting kicked in the teeth for it, those people are going to need you before you need them. So just move on. It, it's, it lightens your load, you know, when you step away from people who are ungrateful. Fine. Like, oh, you don't rock with me, cool. You don't have with me, cool. And some and some of y'all, you know, y'all cozy up and get nice until you get what you want. You know, y'all, oh, you know what I'm saying? I I I've learned my lesson. I'm not who I used to be. Da, 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 da. Blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? I really rock with you. I've learned from what happened in the past. And th this is more of a family thing. Maybe it's a close friend thing, but because you're not gonna take this from a stranger or somebody that that's that you know for a short amount of time. But they they come around. Well, you know, you know, I get it, I get it, I get it. I shouldn't have did what I did. I'm sorry, da 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 da. da but I'm good now. I just want to show you, show you that I'm different. And they and and as soon as they get, you know, on on that second foot, straight Judas material, Benedict Arnold. You get what I'm saying? Just it's just a traitor by law, traitor by nature. Um. But this is the time period. Like like you got to cut all these people off, man. Only be with people who bring who who bring balance and peace to your life. No more, no leeches, no users, you know, no scammers, no nothing. You know, if they don't f with you, cool. Let the, and find out when people when people. It's okay to find out that people don't f with you by 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 if they stab you in the back. You now you know. Now that you know, move on. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna leave it at that, man. Tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, or die trying. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace. You ever been to the top of the universe? I'm gonna tell you. <laughs>